All right, so I've got this list here. Let's think about how we might work through this list. So if we print this list, as we've seen before, we uh, print my list, and uh, we just get this output of kind of a not really very pretty list. Um, and so what we really want to do is we want to maybe put it in columns. So let's look at that. So uh, because it's a list, it's a, it's a finite number of things, there's, there's a pattern there. So that suggests a loop is the best way to go at it. So for each in list, and remember each is just my choice of a variable name. Um, I could have just as easily called it I or Bubba or, you know, what, what, whatever makes sense for my list. I like each because it tells me something very specific. It tells me I'm looking at each thing in a list, and that helps uh, in my feeble mind sometimes. So for each in my list, print each, um, and now I'll get this in a nice column so I can see each thing all nice and neat. And of course, now that I've got this, there are all these interesting things I can do with this um, to do more interesting things. And we'll, we'll talk about how we'll use indexes to make, maybe make this a bit more interesting. Um, but even using with the knowledge we know, we could, of course, strip things and split them and treat this each just like we would any other string, if in fact my list is strings. So we'll on all of this in the next one.